So let's talk about contours and projection. So projection is basically if you have the implant lying flat, how tall is it on a table? If you're standing up with the implant in, how far does it project out from your chest wall? So most of the major manufacturers offer a lot of variety in terms of projection. So for a given width of implant, which the width has to fit the width of your breast, you could have varying projection, which allows you to go bigger or smaller on the implant depending on the width. For the ideal implant, which is a variation of the saline implant, they come in a high projection only, so there's not that much variation in terms of projection, and therefore you end up with generally a narrower implant for the same volume and something a little perkier and a little more projecting. If, for example, you have a wide breast and then you acquire a wider implant to fit it, for something like the ideal, you could end up with a pretty large volume because you're automatically going to be in high projection and if you're also wide, you're going to end up pretty big. So if that's not what you want, it might be a little bit limiting, whereas most of the other types of implants, you have a lot of choice and you can go very, very small, very big, high projection, low projection, and everything in between.